Lord, it won't be the Assyrians, it won't be the Babylonians, it'll be the Romans that are running over the Jews. They're going to be coming over them just like the, uh, you ever watch whenever you go to the, the ocean, you, you look at the sea and how the water just wipes on the, just keeps coming, just keeps coming and it just wipes it clean and it just, you know, here's something and then just taken out. He says, that's what's going to happen. We need to pay close attention to what it is that he said. Because we are more like the people of Judah than we would care to admit. We'd like to be able to look at Judah and say, man, I can't believe they would do that. But remember, whenever we see the Israelites, we've seen it in Sunday school, whenever you see the Israelites, it's a picture of an individual believer. All of the things that they often face as a nation, that's who we are. Those are the same battles, the same kind of trials that, that we have. We're not, uh, we're not really understanding Scripture until we understand this is about us too. Until we put ourselves in that position, whenever we understand, hey, as God's children, we're supposed to be honoring Him. Until we get past our ideas and see the very heart of God for us, we will make the same mistakes. God can still remove a hedge. Amen. And we could still long for His protection. I honestly believe that's where we are as a nation. I believe there's a hedge that's been removed. I'll just think it's been a very short amount of time there's been so many outright attacks that have hit our nation just in the past couple of months. Pretty amazing what it is that can happen whenever God says, you like the hedge, but you don't like to serve me. I won't chop you down. I'll just remove the hedge. The psalmist said in Psalm 80, verses 12 and 13, he says, Why hast thou broken down her hedges? So that all they which pass by do pluck her. The boar out of the wood doth waste it, and the wild beast of the field doth devour it. When the hedge is removed, all manner of adversaries are there just to pick you apart. It'll happen as a nation, but it'll happen as individuals too. God's provided all that we need so that we can be faithful and fruitful for the cause of Christ. He spared no expense. He gave us His Son. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank You for today. Thank You for the grace that You give. Thank You for the reminders that You give us in Your Word. Lord, as we see judgment and all of the things that take place through the book of Isaiah, it's sometimes hard to read. It's hard to take in. And yet we understand it so well, Lord, that You desire people for Yourself. And I pray, Father, that You would help us to honor You in all things. Lord, help us to be able to show that love towards You. And Father, that we would be quick to honor You. And, and Lord, we, we praise You for Your protection. We thank you, Lord, for your hand and your guidance in our life. I pray, Lord, that you would never look at us and in, in any of us, Lord, and have to pronounce a woe. Lord, that we would grieve you. Lord, I pray, Father, that you would help us to honor you. We pray that you'd watch over us now as we depart from this place. And we have the men's meeting here in just a moment. I pray, God, that you bless that as well. And, Father, we just want to thank you for your grace. And it's in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. And we are dismissed. Amen. We'll meet back.